Hey y'all, it's uh, Robert, Tyler, and uh, little brother Sean. And Tyler has found a good one. We're searching this little section. <clears throat> and Tyler found a Yadkin. Look at that. Holy crap, that's a good <laughs> one. It's a little beat up from the water. I just found this piece of early colonial The Cherokee would use these too. They'd get it from the Europeans. But anyway, man, that is a good one. It was under a leaf, he said. Look, yeah, it looks really thin and super wide. All right, go ahead and get it. Yep. <laughs> There's a killer port, huh? Man, you dog. Yeah, it's a little beat up, but man. Heck yeah. Man. It's been banged around a little bit. But that's a good one, man. That's what we uh that's what we look for around here is yaddies. Alright, good job. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Excited. <laughs> Let's scout this out. Alright, thanks y'all. If we find something else, we'll get it on. Alright, we're still hunting. I've done move this one, but let me see that one you just found. We're on an old homestead. Tyler found a horseshoe. A lot of old porcelain, broken porcelain plates. This one I just found. They look a lot alike. Little stem quartzies with blunted ends. And the bases are just squared off. Well, you know, yours just kind of worked. But we're gonna keep walking this, and see if we can find something else. There's a bunch of bunch of stuff in here, a bunch of old broken glass and like I said, porcelain plates and stuff. But either way, if we get anything else good, we'll get it on. Alright, so I found another one. Right there. This vein quartz too, one of our favorite materials. I don't know if you can see it down between those rocks right there. It looks like the tip has been broken. Man, that would have been a pretty one. Ooh, dang. That would have been a good one. It's got little serrations on the sides. If only that tip wasn't broke. That base is kind of strange. I don't understand. It's kind of a rounded... Let me see if I can get focused on this thing. I'm not sure what that base is, but you want to talk about... I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Alright. Dang. Too bad on that tip. Alright, we're going to keep snooping around, see if we can find anything. Found this too. Like I said, we're on an old settlement. And a couple of, a couple more horseshoes. Either way. Keep on looking. Come up with something else good. We'll get it on. All right, it's been every bit of about uh, 10 seconds. I found that uh, right there somewhere. And then Tyler just seen this. Where is it? Oh yeah. Look at this big old quartzy. Well, that's a good one too. Oh, let's see if I can get out of there. All right, get that. That's a good one. Hopefully it's real thin. Nope, kind of chunky. <laughs> Kind of chunky, but you can see that's a big one. Golly, look at the <laughs> thickness on that thing. That was a Thanksgiving dinner knife right there. Good one though, yeah, heck yeah. Ty's got two good ones today. All right, yay, yay for Ty and yay for Ty. Come on, Sean, get in the get in the game here. <laughs> I'm trying. We're gonna keep our heads up and let Sean look for a little bit for y'all. See if he can get on here. Alright, we're back. We've moved down a little bit. I don't know if you can see this piece of crystal quartz sticking out of the ground right here. I don't know if it's going to be one, but it looks like it could be a tip. Oh my gosh, it would have been a big blade. Let's wash it off. Right here on the side of the Man, what a crying shame. Look at that thing. Mm. 
Is that a side yeah. notch right there? No, I think it's just the way it's broke. Man, a what a shame. Right there. Oh, it's super thin, too, for quartz. Check that out. What do you got? Oh, an old wrench. <laughs> And I found a square, a square paleo headed tool. paleo tool, yeah, paleo wrench. I found a square headed nail too, so we're still in an old area for settlement. We're gonna walk this, see if we come up with something else. All right, we got another one. Kyler said, and I found this tailor made. Looks like a one. <laughs> Golly, look at this one. God, that material is gorgeous. It's still bedded down pretty good, too. Man, that is a good one, Ty. All right, go ahead and get that up. Mm, I bet it's super thin. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Super thin. That's nice. That is a good one. Heck, yeah. We were finding a lot of really good chips, too, so look at the edge on that. I saw. I, I had just said there's got to be something right in here because there's a lot of really good chips. And Tyler said, "Oh, I found one." All right, yeah, we'll keep on looking, see if we can come up with something more. If not, we're gonna have to take that Taylor made right there and hit some golf balls. All right, yay again for Tyler. <laughs> All right, there's another one. We're on a streak for these quartzies. It's a shame Terry's at work. She'd be loving this. I've been wanting to come out to this spot. Oh. Fan, too. Golly, look at that thing. I'll have to get that one better on the cleanup. Some kind of knife. Or maybe it's just broke right there. Hmm, good one, though. All right, thanks as always, y'all. All right, I just got off the phone with Terry. I was apologizing to her because we were blowing it up. You know, we usually go out and find one, two, sometimes three, but this is crazy. We're in a good spot today. I don't know, I've moved this one, so this one isn't like totally in situ. I just flipped it over, but look at this. Ooh la. <laughs> Let's see if I can get you around to the sunlight. Yeah, that's another good one. Little brother Sean. He needs to get in on this. But yeah, I told Terry, I said, you need to get out here. Wait a minute, what's this right here? Broken base of one. Yeah, we're on a good spot. <laughs> we don't have days like this very often. All right, we're gonna keep on looking. I know I keep saying that, but we are. We're gonna keep on looking, see if we can find some more. All right. Flint Madison. Looks like one little piece may be broken off. Daggum it. That would have been a good one, too. Heck yeah. Shame on that one little ear. That's a good one. Tyler just found a piece of pottery, and I said to myself, man, it'd be nice to find a little piece of flint, a little flint Madison or something. And sure enough, there's one. One of our better days, well above average, that's for sure. All right, so we're just a couple minutes later. Tyler just found this knife. And then I just found this one. It's been resharpened, it looks like, a couple times. Cool little stem, though. All right, we're going to keep on going. All right, we're headed out. Ty found me a marble. Ooh, it's got some. Sean's hitting rocks. Hitting golf balls, actually. All right. All right, here's a cleanup from, from that hunt. Um, that hunt was actually uh, a few days ago. I've just been busy with work, and, and I actually think I might have misplaced one or two. <laughs> I lay them in a on top of one of the display cases and we kind of look at them for a little while before we put them in there and I think they got mixed up with some of the others we found. But um, I know I found this knife. Let's see if I can get better zoom. It's still a little muddy. 
It's Christmas time. Y'all know how that is. Busy, busy. This is that really nice one that Tyler found. I was hoping that the sun would be out this morning so you guys could see how translucent that is. You could see the red through it. That's a good one. And we usually do come home and clean these up, but like I said, it's just been busy. That's another one really translucent. It's a shame that tip's broke. Yeah, trying to go fast here. Lots to do today. This is that one where me and Tyler found this one and this one. They were um, they were right next to each other. And I, I wish um, some of y'all do it where you uh, do video and then you like sub in pictures at the same time. And, and um, I haven't really got around to figuring out how to do that yet. But there's a tree out there on this site. And... Um, that's a Yadkin. That's the one that Tyler found. That's probably, for around here, you know, aside from Dalton's, which are obviously my favorite point, Yadkins, for what we find around here, are probably my my favorite point. So I was excited when he found that one. But um, back to that tree, there's a tree that's out on this site. It's right next to an old creek. And um, I got Tyler to sit. They cut it down, and um, it's hollowed out, and Tyler sat on the inside of it. And uh, he can't even stick his legs remotely close to the other side of the inside of this tree. It is so big. That was that tip that was sticking out of the ground. It's a shame that wasn't there because you can see how thin that is for quartz. It's thin. But that tree, um, I've played with bonsai trees for, for probably 18 years now. So I know a little bit about trees. Not a lot. I didn't study them or anything. But I would, I'd be willing to guess that that tree, it was an oak tree. And I'd be willing to guess that it was a probably around 180 years old when it was cut down it's an old old tree it's probably the biggest base of a tree i've seen since i've lived here in georgia it's huge but anyway uh that tree i know that tree was cut down probably a little over 60 years ago because of where it is and um so it's crazy to think you know that that tree was a tree living hanging out when they were running around here making arrowheads in the woodland you know maybe maybe real late mississippian i should say era but yeah it's just cool to see that tree so it's still kind of hanging out though dead but either way uh yeah that was one of our better hunts man i was i was shocked and really disappointed that that terry wasn't with us but it was a good hunt so that's that uh, i don't want to drag this on too long thanks as always y'all for watching